हेलो एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग टुडे इज सेकेंड ऑफ मे एंड आई वेलकम यू टू द हिंदू न्यूज़पेपर एनालिसिस डिस्कशन सो फ्रेंड्स इन द टुडे इज वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस एंटायर एनालिसिस ऑफ हिंदू अलॉन्ग विद द आर्टिकल्स एंड देयर वे फॉरवर्ड एंड आई वुड ऑल्सो लाइक टू टेल यू दैट यू कैन डाउनलोड द एक्सप्लेनर नोट्स ऑफ दिस एंटायर सेशन फ्रॉम आर टेलीग्राम चैनल लिंक फॉर टेलीग्राम चैनल इज गिवन इन डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स इन यूट्यूब ना स्टार्टिंग अप फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट सी ओवर ऑफ द न्यूज़ सो गाइज हेयर वी सी दैट ऑन फर्स्ट पेज देर इज वन आर्टिकल Uh, first of all, after Bihar, Odisha begins the survey of OBC caste. So, when we talk about guys, the caste census demands have been made a lot in the past last one year or more. So, what actually has happened? There are the demands that actually the cons uh, the census that we have in that we don't separately elaborate the backward caste. Separately, we don't have a data that how which caste has how many members. okay though sc st data is there in the census but caste data is not there so there were the demands that as we are giving so much of the welfare schemes on the basis of the backwardness we need to have the data on caste so central government has actually refused for that thing bihar government has carried their own caste survey and now odisha will also be going in that okay so odisha will become the second state after the bihar to conduct the caste survey now uh, the side article supreme court says it can end wait for consensual divorce we'll see this particular article briefly as what it is talking about then in karnataka bjp promises uniform civil code if elected uniform civil code is a uh, basically uniform civil code means that a common set of personal civil laws for all the religious communities it is mandated by article 44 of dpsp but uh, we will see that whether it will come or not then further moving on we have these advertisements regional issues etc have been given no need to go too much in detail in this particular line then again guys moving on these political articles largely has been given okay so directly we will move to editorial section the first article the importance of constitutional punctuality we will see this particular article then side article is uh, dithering, uh, dithering on the adani group probe will dent sebi's credibility so basically this hindenburg report was released which has alleged that the adanis were involved adani group was involved into the stock pricing manipulation and after that the sebi inquiry was to be conducted okay now it has been provided that uh, it has been provided that there are some kind of a violations etc that actually have happened then the script and track of master storyteller now this particular guys uh, this particular article is uh, talking about the movies the direction uh, movies fine uh, which have been directed by the satyajit ray okay so their line of line of direction and all such things have been provided now guys here the references of the different different movies have been given for upsc examination the articles is not that much important however for your personal interest if you want you can read it but for upsc exam no need to go too much in this article then uh, the circumstances of the release of anand mohan okay the death of another nehruvian idea we'll see this particular article walking a tight tight rope in chatisgarh political article no need to go in that then guys further moving on the dragon checks in okay china is the world champion in both open and women chess okay so the performance of china and the different different countries have been given in the chess then coming to the text and context page china's amended anti espionage law we'll see that what is this anti espionage law and how it will be how it might impact the chinese citizens and the others now uh this is a pulse check article guys the ever expanding medicinal use and properties of psychedelic substance now what are the psychedelic substance psychedelic substances are the group of drugs which alters perception which alters mood okay people will feel elevated the people will feel uh, more in a particular different set of mood okay and at the same time and at the same time they also don't alter the consciousness okay so psycho psychedelic drugs are there now the article is saying that first of all these psychedelic drugs they are banned under the narcotic drug and psychotropic substance act but their usage in medicines etc as an antidepressants okay in the medicines of uh, depression anxiety their usage is increasing so the article is talking about the different different psychedelics and their different different properties okay but guys the article the basically the dimension in which the article is there you are not required to go too much in detail in this particular article for exam then moving on after that government bans 14 apps in jammu and kashmir sites used by terror group okay so these applications were allowing the encrypted messaging okay all these things then after that moving on uh, moving on in this particular direction okay uh, india leads in laundering russian oil and selling gas to europe we'll see this particular article wrestlers get support from more leaders okay 
then guys moving on here japan to train 1000 engineers for the bullet train project okay then uh, another batch of 186 indians back home from sudan so every day uh, we have seen that already operation kaveri uh, operation kaveri is going on to rescue the people from sudan and no need to go and track every day that how many indians have been rescued okay then guys further moving on inaugural asian india maritime exercise in south china sea from today we'll see this particular article for the examination then on the world page russia missile attack despite true sudan near breaking point says united nation okay so we see this thing that in sudan there are the uh, there are the military generals which are fighting against each other for their dominance okay and a temporary truce have been signed between them where they have said that okay for time being we will not attack each other but still there is no sight that a permanent solution will come to the sudan crisis okay so there can be a breakdown then uzbekistan president wins referendum to rewrite the constitution we'll see this particular article also then year end compliances lift april gst revenue now see uh, i have told you this many number of times that you are not required to track every month's gst collection every month's import export every month's changing foreign exchange reserves data all these things are not you are not required to track every month okay so record gst collections pmi signals uh, april manufacturing hit a four month high okay so largely guys we have these particular kind of a trends only retail sector to lead hiring of women with stem qualification so stem stands for science technology engineering and the mathematics so the women who have been qualified here they will be hired okay in the retail sector jobs Maruti Suzuki chip shortage to his in quarter two. Then these advertisements etc has been there. Fine. So that is all, guys. The overview of the newspaper. And then we have the sports page. And there is one more article. Trade pact lifts India's financial year 23 exports to UAE to 31.3 billion dollar. So, guys, if you are following news analysis regularly, you we have also taken up that between the India and UAE, India and UAE. Okay. Uh, basically. A free trade agreement has been signed. Okay, SEPA was signed. That is the Comprehensive Economic uh, Partnership Agreement. And as the agreement has been signed between the India and UAE, the tariffs have been re reduced. And as the tariffs have been reduced, India are India is able to export more food supplies. India is able to export more machinery goods, etc. In the UAE, so trade is becoming going in a good direction. Okay. So that is all about the overview and now let's take the uh, all the important articles one by one in detail okay so guys as i have told you that you can download the explainer notes and in every class we start with the gs quotation so today we'll take the quotation from aristotle so aristotle says that democracy is when the indigent and not the men of property are the rulers democracy is when the indigent and not the men of property are the rulers indigent means that the people who are wise the people who are wise so when wise people okay wise people are the rulers okay when the people who are driven with the rationality are the ruler then the true democracy will come okay and not the men of property are the rulers okay simply if a person is having muscle power is having money power and by that virtue if a person has got the control had got the power then we cannot call that it is truly a democracy okay so you can use this particular quotation in GS paper number two issues related to the polity governance in GS paper number four and essay also we can use this particular idea. Now let's take the first article for today. So the first article for today we have taken from the page number one and the article reads Supreme Court says it can end wait for consensual divorce. Now uh, this particular article guys will see with respect to the GS paper number one social issues GS paper number one social issues issues related to the Indian society. Now before going on in this particular direction guys understand this particular thing that when we talk about the Indian society there is a topic given that is the salient features of Indian society and when we talk about Indian society the marriage marriage between two individual happens to be one of a very important institution within the Indian society. Marriage is one of the most important institution in Indian society and marriage the institution of marriage is attached with a sense of sacredness. It is attached with the sense of sacredness as well as the institution of marriage in India is attached with the sense of life lifelong union. It is attached with the sense of lifelong union, lifelong union. Okay. Now guys understand this particular thing, lifelong union, but often the marriage as a lifelong union might not be possible 
बिकॉज समटाइम्स कंपेटिबिलिटी बिटवीन अ हजबेंड एंड वाइफ इज नॉट देयर नाउ गाइज वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द अर्लियर टाइम्स इवन दो कंपेटिबिलिटी वॉज नॉट देयर बट द हजबेंड एंड वाइफ हैज टू बियर इन दैट पर्टिकुलर रिलेशन बट पोस्ट इंडिपेंडेंस एज वी हैव कम आउट विद द स्पेसिफिक लॉज विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द मैरिज डाइवोर्स एट्सेट्रा इट हैज बीन अलाउड दैट बोथ द हजबेंड एंड द वाइफ कैन सीक अ डाइवोर्स इफ द रिलेशन इज नॉट ए कंपेटेबल ओके बट गाइज स्टिल दैट नोशन दैट नो इट हैज टू बी लाइफ लॉन्ग यूनियन इज देयर हाउ because when a husband and wife are seeking for the divorce then the court gives them court gives them a, tra- a period of 6 to 18 months that within 6 to 18 months they should again try that whether their marriage is workable or not okay they have to live together for a period ranging 6 to 18 months but many number of times the marriage has reached to such a point that this 6 to 18 months become a period of torture for either of the husband or the wife and in this particular time there is also a lot of domestic violence abuse also that happens in a relationship so the supreme court has provided that there are certain marriages which have reached to a point that there is no coming back rectification of those marriages is not possible so why we don't dissolve those marriages why don't we allow the divorce in such kind of marriages without this particular waiting period of 6 to 18 months and here supreme court has given the reference of article 142 of the indian constitution so under article 142 of the indian constitution supreme court has been given the power that supreme court can issue orders supreme court can issue decree to do the complete justice and by this article 142 supreme court becomes one of the most powerful judicial institution not in india but in the entire world and supreme court now had said this particular thing that we can use article 142 we can use article 142 and we can dissolve the certain marriages we can grant the divorce in some better marriages immediately without waiting for this period of 6 to 18 months so they have said that they can grant divorce on irretrievable breakdown of marriages okay ground of irretrievable breakdown of marriages such uh, marriages where the breakdown has should be there because the in, uh, the relation has become very much uh, uh, uncompatible now this particular judgment is different why because guys under the hindu marriage act under the hindu marriage act that governs the marriages okay uh, now under the hindu marriage act hindus will be included jain will be included buddhist will be included parsis will be included okay so this new ground has been brought by the supreme court okay now guys understand supreme court has also provided this particular thing that this particular thing is not a right that you cannot claim it as a right rather it will be allowed on the basis of the discretion on the basis of the discretion of the court now how this is important guys understand this thing basically modernity okay the modern ideas they influence the traditional setup of society now here we see that the liberalism liberalism individualism justice these ideas are becoming important with the advent of modernity and in this particular line the traditional notions that no marriage has to be lifelong union they are getting challenged and in this direction the supreme court has taken a particular step so how judiciary is how judiciary is also reforming the social practices in this kind of dimension we can understand this particular article for gs paper number 1 okay then further further supreme court had provided that the facts established must show that the marriage has completely failed and there is no possibility fine that the uh, that the husband and wife can live together there such instant dissolving of the marriages will be allowed okay now guys some people will appreciate it because it has given importance to the individual identity okay that you if you cannot continue then okay immediately take the divorce some people will say that no it is not good why because again that sacredness that has been attached with the marriage how you can dissolve it so easily so these view points will always be there in the social issues now india leads in laundering russian oil and selling to europe report this particular article will see with respect to the gs paper number 2 international affairs international issues now before going on in this particular article guys let me tell you little bit of a background and after that we'll go in this article so basically g7 countries they have imposed a price cap on russian oil they have in, imposed the price cap on russian oil okay russian oil now understand this particular thing they have provided this 
that Russian oil cannot be sold above the price of $60 per barrel. Now understand this thing. Russia is one of the major supplier of the crude oil to the world. And in, right now, Russia and Ukraine are also fighting with each other. Now, West says that Russia is responsible for this particular war. And the West wants to cut the money going to the Russia because Russia is using that particular money in this war against the Ukraine. Now, as the Western countries are imposing sanctions on the Russia, they want that Russia should also not be able to sell their oil. But if they impose this sanction on Russia, and if Russia is not able to sell their oil, then there will be shortage of crude oil that will come in the world. And because of that particular shortage, the crude oil prices will go very much high. So, West cannot impose the blanket ban on Russia for the oil. But they have imposed one condition that Russia cannot sell the oil above the price of $60 per barrel. And the countries who are buying the oil from Russia, they should not also buy the oil from Russia above the $60, dollar, uh, $60 per barrel pricing. Okay. Now, few months back, this was not at all a problem. Why? Because anyhow, the international price of the oil was below $60. Okay, so Russia was able to do that thing. But now, the prices are going up. Okay. And Russia is actually offering the prices at a discount to the countries. And India is buying a lot of Russian oil. And in fact, in 2022, in 2022 India became India's largest crude oil ex import. Uh, India, uh, uh, the largest uh, shipments of the crude oil in India was coming from the Russia. Okay, that was happening. But still, selling at $60 per barrel is not possible for Russia. So, Russia wants to sell it little bit above $60, for example, $62, $65. And countries technically cannot buy that. But still, what is happening, the countries are going out of their way and they are buying the Russian oil even at $62 per barrel, $65 per barrel. And India is one of the country which is buying the Russian oil in substantial numbers even above the $60 per barrel. Now, understand this particular thing. What actually has happened? Uh, one more thing that, guys, if I tell you, India is one of the largest importer of the crude oil, but at the same time, India is also the major exporter of the processed uh, uh, processed oil. For example, what India do? India imports crude oil. India has one of the world's largest oil refinery setup. India refines that particular oil, make finished products out of that crude oil, and then sell those finished products to the other countries. Now, basically, what actually has happened? Recently, a Finland-based group, a Finland-based group had come out with the group of countries which have been called as Laundromat, Laundromat, sorry, Laundromat. Now, what are these Laundromat countries? Laundromat are these five countries which are buying the Russian oil in substantial number. They are refining that particular Russian oil and selling that particular Russian oil to the European markets. Now understand this thing, European countries directly cannot buy oil from Russia or, uh, or oil based products from Russia. So what actually is happening, India is buying that, India is processing the crude oil and is supplying to the Europe. So at the end of the day, Russian oil is reaching to the Europe but by India. So there are the group of five countries which are doing it and India is a lead in this particular group and this group is called as a laundromat. The countries that buy Russian oil and sell processed products to the European countries and therefore we are sidestepping the European sanction G7 sanction. Okay, that is there. Now, European Union, I have told you, there is a price cap that has been imposed. Okay, also the restriction is there on the insurance, fine. Uh, 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 also, there is a restriction on the insurance for the oil purchased that is being purchased at the price above the $60 per barrel. But still, India is doing that particular thing. So, basically, the report says this thing that uh, European countries are substituting oil products. They are previously buying directly from Russia and the same products they are buying from the other countries. Third countries are whitewashing that particular oil Okay, and they are importing it. So this is something that guys actually has come. Now, uh, India has not commented on this particular aspect. But earlier also the reports have come that India is still buying the Russian oil. Okay. So this is guys the issue that's happening here. Next article. Inaugural ASEAN India Maritime Exercise in South China Sea from today. Okay. So basically guys what has happened. India is participating. India is participating in this exercise that is AIM. Okay, so basically ASEAN that is Association of Southeast Asian Nations 
okay they are participating in a in a military exercise in a, in a naval exercise with the india and the name of this particular exercise is aim that is asian india maritime exercise that is asian india maritime exercise and this particular exercise will begin with the war games that will be taken in the south china sea now when we talk about the south china sea guys there is a big dispute going on in south china sea between china on one hand and between the countries such as the philippines and all other countries which are surrounding the south china on another hand china claims that entire south china sea is the part of the chinese eez but other countries say that no that cannot be possible now guys in this particular capacity when the entire south china is being claimed by the china india and asean countries are doing a exercise in the south china sea therefore it becomes very important and if a question comes in the exam that recently aim exercise was in news it is in between which group of countries so you should remember india and asean okay and here the indian naval ship satpura and indian naval ship delhi will uh, they will arrive at singapore and they will participate in this particular exercise and this particular exercise will provide an opportunity to indian navy and the navies of the asian countries so that they can work together they can share the expertise with each other joint operations for all these particular things it has been taken fine now moving to the next article china's amended anti espionage law china's amended anti espionage law we'll see in this with respect to the gs paper number 2 issues related to the neighborhood countries issues related to the neighborhood countries and in the neighboring countries we have the china now guys understand this thing that what has happened in the past few months china had arrested many of the high profile citizens of china and china had said that these high profile citizens high profile families have linked with the americans and the japanese and they are giving the sensitive information of china to the american and japanese and therefore they have committed an act of espionage and therefore in order to control that particular thing china wants to have a more stringent law by which they should control that their citizens are not giving sensitive information to other countries or other countries are not spending uh, are not sending the spies in the china and in this particular capacity they have amended their anti espionage law okay and what actually has happened china has broadened the scope of the activities which may be defined as activities related to spying and national security is it clear now here the china is taking whole of society approach whole of society approach to the national security now guys what it means it means that if china wants china can investigate any citizen now see this thing when we talk about the espionage okay when we talk about espionage or an act when the sensitive documents of one country are being given to other country now these particular acts can be committed by a specific type of people the people who have linked with links with the government the people who are in the defense forces the people who are in embassy because on, often the, they will only be having that information which they can give to the another country but what china has done china has take, taken the whole of a society approach it means that china suspects that any citizen of china can give the information to other country not only the high profile people who have the connections or the links with the government but any person can act as a spy any person can divulge the important information of the china to the other country now this particular thing has evoked the concerns in the rights group okay it has also invoked the concerns in the foreign enterprises in china now what it may what actually can happen see there are many of the multinational companies american mncs european mncs japanese mncs actually which have the presence in china so tomorrow what china can do china can go in their offices can check their computers can check their emails and anything and on the ground that we want to check that you are not sharing the sensitive information of china to another country so in this particular ground, ground they can investigate any enterprises office any national any international person uh, any foreign person living there Uh, so actually it gives a lot of right lot of power to the china lot of power to the china and it will have a kind of a chilling impact on the china as well as on the other countries who have the presence in china now when we talk about the india many of the indian companies also have the presence in china particularly in the pharma sector it sector etc and they can also be investigated by the china by this particular thing okay so guys understand this thing that as we talk about the present time 
द कॉम्पिटिशन बिटवीन द चाइना एंड द वेस्ट इट इज बिकमिंग मोर एंड मोर इंटेंस एंड चाइना हैज अ काइंड ऑफ अ पैरानोया एंड अंडर द गार्ब ऑफ दैट पैरानोया एज वेल एज इन ऑर्डर टू गेट मोर स्वीपिंग पावर्स चाइना हैज डन दिस पर्टिकुलर काइंड ऑफ थिंग ओके सो दैट इज ऑल अबाउट दिस पर्टिकुलर आर्टिकल गाइज एंड नाउ मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट आर्टिकल द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल पंक्चुअलिटी द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल पंक्चुअलिटी विल सी दिस पर्टिकुलर आर्टिकल विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द जी एस पेपर नंबर टू इशूज रिलेटेड टू द पॉलिटी और एज वेल एज द इशूज रिलेटेड टू द ऑफिस ऑफ द गवर्नर न फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल बिफोर गोइंग इन दिस पर्टिकुलर आर्टिकल गाइज आई वुड लाइक टू गिव यू सम बैकग्राउंड इन्फॉर्मेशन एक्चुअली वट हैज हैपेंड रिसेंटली तमिलनाडु असेंबली हैज पास द रेजोल्यूशन दैट ने देयर नीड्स टू बी अ काइंड ऑफ अ स्ट्रिक्ट टाइम फ्रेम विद इन विच द गवर्नर शुड गिव द एसेंट टू अ बिल नाउ अंडरस्टैंड दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग दैट वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द ऑफिस ऑफ गवर्नर वी हैव द आर्टिकल नंबर टू हंड्रेड एंड आर्टिकल टू हंड्रेड ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन प्रोवाइड्स दैट वेन अ बिल इज क्लियर बाय द लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबली दैट पर्टिकुलर बिल विल गो टू द गवर्नर नाउ गवर्नर अंडर आर्टिकल टू हंड्रेड हैज ऑप्शन नंबर वन गवर्नर कैन गिव द एसेंट टू दिस पर्टिकुलर बिल देन दैट पर्टिकुलर बिल विल बिकम एन एक्ट सेकेंडली गवर्नर कैन विद होल्ड द एसेंट से दैट ओके आई विल नॉट गिव द एसेंट देन दैट पर्टिकुलर बिल विल एंड देन गवर्नर कैन रिजर्व द बिल फॉर द रिकन्सिडरेशन ओके गवर्नर कैन रिजर्व द बिल फॉर द रिकन्सिडरेशन द प्रेजिडेंट दैट प्रेजिडेंट विल टेक द डिसीजन और गवर्नर कैन रिटर्न दैट पर्टिकुलर बिल टू द असेंबली ऑल्सो दीज आर द फोर थिंग्स दैट गवर्नर कैन डू अंडर आर्टिकल नंबर टू हंड्रेड ऑफ द इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन But understand this thing that whenever a bill reaches the office of the governor, there it's not provided. There it's not provided that in how much time governor needs to give the decision on bill. So you see, giving assent is a decision. Withholding the assent, saying that I will not give any, uh, uh, I will not approve the bill. This is also decision. There needs to be time in which the governor needs to decide on that particular bill. The time is actually not mentioned in the constitution, and for this particular, by because of this particular thing, governor is sitting on the bill, is not clearing bill for many many months. Okay, so therefore, government of Tamil uh, Tamil Nadu asked this particular thing that a time frame needs to be imposed on the governor. Okay, and on this line, just two days back, we have seen this article in newspaper also that what has happened, what has happened, Supreme Court also said. to the governor that governor cannot sit that governor cannot sit over the bill indefinitely and this was said in the context of the telangana's governor it was said that there is a very clear mention that as soon as possible decision is to be given so governor needs to give decision in a timely manner should not sit on a bill so therefore the idea of constitutional punctuality comes here idea of constitutional punctuality constitutional punctuality means that the constitutional offices constitutional persons such as the governor they need to keep in mind that there is a specific time frame that has to be followed they cannot be very much complacent okay so they need to follow the constitutional punctuality okay now it has been said that there is no timeline that is fixed into the constitution it was because it was expected that these office holders will use their wisdom now also we have the certain supreme court judgments for example for example we have shamsher singh versus state of punjab case shamsher singh versus state of punjab case now in this particular case what happened supreme court provided that president and governor are the uh, are the custodians of all executive and other powers under various articles and should exercise their constitutional power only in accordance with the advice of the ministers okay it means that if governor see governor out of their own discretion cannot keep the bill pending on the basis of the advice either they should clear the bill or should should withhold the assent but they cannot sit on the bill mentioned in the samsher singh case moreover when we talk about the united kingdom there has been no royal veto since 1708 okay so the uh, uh, the queen or the king they have not reserved the bill they have not given any veto means they have not withhold the approval and when we talk about the usa usa there is a, a timeline of 10 days within a president should give the assent or veto to the bill if president doesn't takes any action within 10 days in usa then automatically that particular bill becomes an act but when we talk about in the context of india such time frame has not been mentioned and the governor themselves also are not respecting that particular thing so a constitutional punctuality is idea needs to be popularized and should be followed by the constitutional office holders such as governors
Fine. Now moving to the next article. The death of another Nehruvian idea. Now, guys, uh, no need to go too much in detail in this particular article. But just uh, one particular institution which has probably been shut down. It this article is talking about that. Now, uh, basically, what has happened? So recently, Department of Science and Technology (DST) they have indirectly given a hint that Vigyan Prasar, Vigyan Prasar, which was an autonomous body, fine, and Vigyan Prasar was agency which was responsible for broadcasting the shows it was responsible broadcasting the cast with respect to those kind of contents which will promote the scientific temperament now understand this particular thing guys the scientific temperament is an important nehruvian idea okay and to promote that particular scientific temperament the shows were to be designed by the vigyan prasar okay now it has been provided that the officials of the government are saying this particular thing actually the niti ayog is saying this thing that there are many of the autonomous societies and many of the shows dd science is also there which are uh, telecasting the shows about the science and all such kind of things so why to have one more body that is vigyan prasar now the article is saying this particular thing that when we talk about vigyan prasar it started it functioning in 1989 it started it functioning in 1989 and it was based on the nehruvian idea of science communication scientific awareness okay and since then since then it has broadcasted the shows it has broadcasted the radio shows as well as the tv shows in the 1990s okay now understand this thing in it has it is being said that the societal challenges are there superstitious beliefs have emerged fine dst has formed an agency to promote public debate on science and technology okay national council for science and technology communication was born in 1982 okay now understand this particular thing that actually the article is saying this thing that since 1980s in order to tackle the superstitious beliefs etc the vigyan prasar has played a very important role but now but now as uh, but now as these particular things are happening this entire body has been made defunct has been made defunct okay this is something that is to be tackled okay now uh, uh, further moving on in this particular direction guys so it has been said that over the years moreover the science broadcast that have been there science broadcast that have been there these science broadcast also have showing uh, are showing the repetitive content and all these kind of a thing so anyhow the scientific temperament is not being followed that much okay so government needs to be careful on these particular kind of matters now moving to the next article moving to the next article Uzbekistan president wins referendum to rewrite the constitution okay uh, so basically guys what has happened recently the uzbekistan which was a former soviet union country it has passed it has passed a referendum and in this particular referendum they asked the question from the people that whether they should amend the constitution whether they should amend the constitution and in this referendum they has also asked this thing that the presidential term can it be increased yes or no okay now what actually has happened the majority number of people in this particular referendum they have voted yes to this particular referendum so the president shavkat mirzi yoyev they have he has asked the question can we rewrite the constitution can we rewrite the constitution and in this new constitution they have given that emphasis will be given on human rights freedoms gender equality economic growth prosperity all these particular kind of things moreover there will also be the extension that will be given to the presidential term to 7 years fine one term of 7 years and there will be the two term limit that will be given so in total 14 years term will be given to the president so majority of people have supported this particular referendum and they have passed this particular referendum and by this particular thing the present ruling president the present ruling president's term will also be increased okay so this is about it fine and now moving to the main practice question for today so the question for today it says that in the recent times there has been several friction points between governor state relations discuss with the relevant examples also suggest way forward okay so this article will see with this uh, sorry this question will be seen with respect to the gs paper number 2 that will be a 10 marker question you can write it write the question on uh, answer on this particular question and you can submit it on the telegram channel 
So that is all guys for the today and with this we come to an end to the today's newspaper analysis. So that is all guys for the today. I hope that you have understood it. Thank you so much.